Welcome back, dear travelers. Dapper Jester here, along with the ever-punctual batter. Now, if you recall, we finished Zone 2 yesterday. And if you recall, we killed Valerie, along with Jafet. I hope the judge is alright. But, let's continue on with the batter's mission of purifying the world. Today, we're going into Zone 3. Let's use our access card and travel on to Zone 3. Once again, different color, different music. Personally, orange is my favorite color, so I'm slightly partial to this zone so far. It looks it looks much more industrial. It's like the first zone was very not rural, but there was a mine and a farm and a post office. Second zone was more residential and entertainment. This zone's more industrial. Either way, we've got to purify this zone as well, so let's head on inside. Wrong way, batter. You want to... There you go. Hmm. Do we wait for him? No, the batter doesn't wait for anybody. And there is the stamp book. That will come into play a little bit later in the zone. But for right now, we're going to go down this way. What does Mr. Huffy have to say? Oh, it's another monorail, just like in Zone 1. Unlike the monorail in Zone 1, though, we can go everywhere at the very beginning. And the map is actually kind of cool. It shows you where you're going. Now, this looks near identical. I can understand that. Some people don't like that I walk quietly, especially when I don't interrupt people, and when they finally see me, they jump. But I don't really want to show this area off yet. We're not supposed to be here. But I want to show you that you could, in theory, go to any of the zone areas first. But our quest lies to the left, to A1. If you're guessing, M stands for monorail. More plastic. You really don't ever hear about the, pl the elements after zone 1. Ah. We don't need a map. Let's just walk. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. But we got some new specters to purify. Let's get a wide angle on them and see what we have to deal with. Mute specters. They're misleading. Don't believe them. Um, aggressive blind specters. And crown of the dead. Diabolical airborne royal headwear. Now, I'm not sure the blind... The blind one just does damage. The mute specter will mute you, or the silent specter will mute you. And the crown will heal itself and its party members. So, I tend to just kill things in order. It doesn't really matter to me, but if you're trying to be strategic, I would advise to take out the crown first, followed by the two mute guys, and then the aggressive guy. That would probably be the quickest and easiest way to do it. But, as you saw, we got attacked. You will only be attacked in this area in certain spaces. As long as you follow the map, you saw it briefly, but I'll show you a bit more once we're done with this battle. As long as you stay in the right areas, no monsters will attack you in this zone. Well, not this zone, but this area of the zone. A1, if you will. But, these guys can be a bit of a hassle, so if you can prevent it, don't get sent back because I just ruined the surprise I'm sorry guys but check it out yeah you get sent back to the beginning every time you get into a battle in this room you get sent back so you hit your shift key now if you see the black goes one two three going up this way that's true depending on how your your Silverware, I believe, is placed. It means you're done or you're not done. But, you want to use these blocks on the floor as reference. And see, I stepped right. It will get you. It's almost like the specters are watching, just waiting for you to step into their world for them to grab you. But if you do it correctly, you don't get caught. See? Two-hour lunch break? 
I would love a two-hour lunch break. But we've made it to the first door. Let's head up on the inside. And what is this? No. You're not the judge, mate. You are wearing a creepy mask, but that that does not make a judge. Yeah, that's that's Zachary, guys. No. No. See, he calls the judge by Pablo. I don't understand why. But unfortunately, the judge... <laughs> the judge took Valerie's death a little hard. No. The judge will be MIA for a while, guys. All we have left now is Zachary in a creepy cat no. mask. And really creepily saying meow. No. But... First off, he wants us to head on over to the dorms. Apparently, something's going on. So let's no. make sure. Actually, so people can read this. All right, now we can leave. No. Batter, come on. Thank you. All right, now to get over to some of the other parts, we're gonna have to jump areas. See, right now we're in the black squares, but to get over to the brown squares, we have to go from black red, wait, black five to brown six. That's a little try and er trial and error if you haven't played in this area yet. Now, he said something interesting, and that's a common occurrence in this zone. These guys don't think the specters are bad. They actually think the specters are pretty neato. But let's head on over, make sure we actually do it right this time. Now you think you would go up and over, but you just kind of go straight through. Now what does this say? Oh, that's fascinatingly uninteresting. Now we're in the dorms. There's nothing really under these. I always kind of hoped there was like a secret item, but you can definitely check them all. There's not a dang thing. Yeah, see, these guys, they're not right. They think cafeteria food tastes good. That's something wrong. Otherwise, it's really good cafeteria food. Huh. Yeah, see, it's like propaganda. Don't hurt the, spe uh, the specters. Hmm. Well, let's head up. Oh, it looks like another add-on. Let's pick him up. And now we've filled out our party, guys. We have Epsilon. These are all we're going to get. It's our party members. And we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Kind of goes along with the batter planning on purifying the world. And our one item for this place. But Epsilon actually has a really nifty special attack which will help immensely in the battle with a lot of monsters. So here we go, we got four guys, tons of them. We can't defeat them all at once, right? Well, let's use Epsilon's special ability. First we'll whack up the crown. But surreal, Surrealistic Tragedy is a all hit. It'll hit everything. It won't hit it for a lot of damage, not like Alpha and the batter, but a good chunk of change. Makes it a lot easier to take out these large group of monsters. Actually, we could have used Epsilon's help when we were fighting those fat guys in Zone 2. Would have made life so much easier. But, you work with what you got. Now, because we stepped out of the area, we're going to get sent all the way back to A1 again. Now, I'm going to heal real quick. But I'm going to do it magically. You ready? Poof. Instantaneous healing. But now we're going to go green route. Because we still have to check out both dorms. Now, interesting thing to note. You can actually... I'm not... I haven't tried this, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to get Epsilon. 
because you only want to go in this far left door. If you go in the far left door, that's what activates, I guess, the quest to continue. You don't have to go in that first door. So in theory, you don't have to have Epsilon. Now, I guess he could have been like a secret side character, but I really don't know. Uh, that was the first door I went into, and he was there. I'm glad I went into it, too. But these are just more dorms. We do have a treat here to get. Hmm. All right. I don't have a bed. I haven't seen the badger sleep yet, to be honest. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. I wish the judge was here. Well, let's see how nice these specters actually are. Well, he seems to be pretty sure they're not bad. Let's see what happens. Well, that's not good. That's pretty much the opposite of good. That, that would be considered bad. Oh, God. Alright, let's go ahead and purify these guys. Same monsters we fought before, so go with the same pattern. Use Epsilon's um, all attack. Area effect attack, I guess, would be considered. Yeah, area effect. And then just knock them out. Now, I have cut out most of the battles, so you haven't seen, but... This is actually not that bad of a place to level up. You do gain a good amount of XP from these guys. One problem is, is every time you fight one monster, you gotta go all the way back to the beginning. So that's kind of frustrating. But otherwise, they go down with little to no hassle. It's the next area we're gonna get into that the monsters are gonna start <laughs> nomming on our faces, if you will. God, that dreaded time when nobody can actually do anything in a turn-based battle. And everyone's just kind of looking at each other. And this is actually... This is the first blood we've ever seen, actually, guys. And the batter cares about as much as usual. The dessert. I hope you have more than just pie. Because that's obviously what it's going to be. Now, I want to see if I can actually do this in one shot. Yeah. Down. I'm almost there. I had it. Come on, guys. In the comments. I had it. Not have it. They couldn't even give me, like half a centimeter. I stopped too late. I knew where I was going. But that is the one frustrating part about this area is that even if you step one toe out of the line, you can get sent back. If you remember we passed that guy at the bottom left hand corner uh, near the boxes, he can actually screw you a little bit because his positioning, if you go a little bit too high to go around him at one point, you'll walk out and get attacked. It's a little troll in there from the creator, I think. But let's try this again with less fail, hopefully. We go here. There we go. And let's report this to Zachary Judge. Yeah. Judge Zachary. Well, good. We did find Epsilon. Yeah, that's right, Batter. We also found out that they're not afraid no. of specters at all. We saw propaganda. We heard from people saying the director thinks they're good. I mean, it's like this whole place is specter friendly. And I'm not racist or sexist or ageist or anything like that, but the specters killed that guy. They shouldn't be allowed to be here. But he's actually telling us to head off to no. the area that I showed you first from taking the monorail. That is the treatment area, treatment rooms. But he wants to have a race with us. First one no. to get the zone two. Scratch that. Area two. I'm gonna do that all episode apparently. Um, first one to get to area two gets a prize. Well, we only get a prize if we're the first ones there. So we're gonna haul ass. 
But first we're going to talk to this guy who's just kind of chilling. But let's head on down. They're still going to be back in a minute. Now, I am going to call it an episode. And I'm hoping before we're done with Zone 4, Area 4, swear to God I'm done saying that, We'll know what the heck is going on with this zone of Spectre friends, Spectre buddies, Spectre supporters, whatever you want to call them. Maybe if we talk to the director, we can find out why he seems to think they're so nice. But that's all for another time. From the batter, as well as myself, safe travel, everyone.